What's up everyone, this is Cyberdyne, and today I'm going to open up both of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Prophecy Destroyer tins for you guys. Yeah, these came out actually in 2012, so anyone else feel kind of old? It's almost 10 years old for this tin. And I still remember talking about it back in the day when it was first revealed because everyone thought it was fake and it looked like artwork from like Magic the Gathering or something, but no, actually a new Prophecy monster for back then. And I still think it's probably one of the coolest design cards, too, because it's so different from the normal Yu-Gi-Oh! design that we're used to seeing. You know, they usually don't look like this. I mean, this looks more Lord of the Rings kind of, again, Magic the Gathering kind of look to it. So I still really like the design of this card. It's unfortunate, though. I don't think it was ever a big deal for Prophecies back then. And it had some good reprints and stuff in it as well. I was able to actually get both of these from Bai, which is really random, I know, but that's normally why I order stuff that's from Japan. And there was a Japanese seller that had these, and they were really cheap. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of bring these home and see what I can get. Yeah, even getting them from Bai and from that seller and everything was still cheaper probably than finding these from a U.S. seller on eBay. Yeah, exactly. So check out Bai, link in the description. I can't believe it either. But yeah, these were actually still cheaper to do that. That, that makes no sense to me, right? But I, like I said, I brought them home, at least. So anyway, let's go on ahead and uh, start going through them. So be sure to like and subscribe. That stuff helps out the channel tremendously. Like it really does. And I thank everyone that does that, too, because it's really helped out. And uh, let's hope to have some good luck, too. I mean, I like open up some older packs, as always. I don't even remember exactly what all is in this, to be honest. There's our promo pack. I missed promo packs in tens. So obviously we have our Prophecy Destroyer. Again, these are kind of warped because they've been in this package for a while. Heavy book, fixes it, leave it overnight, done. I mean, especially if you have textbooks because you're going back to school. There you go. You're all set. <laughs> so you have that. Endless Decay. Steel Swarm Roach, which was a big reprint back then. That was like a $100 card. So really good. <laughs> then Photon Strike Bouncer. Again, another pretty big reprint, I believe, from this. And then Infernity Barrier, when Infernities were really good too. So I think that was also close to about $100. So this promo pack was very good for back then. And seriously, look at that artwork too. I can't get over that. What were the packs even in this? I know, I've kind of like crushed the plastic. <laughs> what do we got? Galactic Overlord, two of them. Uh, Photon Shockwave, very nice. And two Order of Chaos. So we're not guaranteed any hollows. So let's see how things go. I'm going to go with the Shockwave first. Let's start off with that Rescue Rabbit, okay? Yeah, I believe we can get Ultimate Rares out of all these packs. Ghost Rares are possible. So, we'll see. <laughs> Heart of the cards, right? We have Baby Dragon. Nothing on that one, unfortunately. Man, I wanted to start off with, like, a Rescue Rabbit or something. Come on, that would have been awesome. Let's see. Galactic Overlord. I remember these tins not always liking me, so <laughs> we're gonna see. What oh, tell Dragon? That's pretty good, actually. We have Heretic Seal of Banishment and Hammer Bouncer. Okay, well, there we go. At least a hollow. I'll take it. Again, you're not guaranteed anything from these, so you know what? I'll take a super I hadn't seen in probably about 10 years, honestly. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I, have, I don't really remember that card. All right, next one. Got an Insector. Some Heretics. Have Light Ray Sorcerer. But nothing else. What else got Daedalus? Daedalus is pretty decent. And now Order of Chaos. I really enjoyed this set. Back then, I remember buying a lot of it. So, <laughs> let's see. Put on Crusher. We have Insector Orb. And Armor and Jitsu Art of Rust Mist. So, again, another holo for us. Yeah, we actually got the ninjas back then out of this set. I remember using them. They were pretty fun. We had Hanzo and everything, too, which we got a 10 for later on. Uh, pretty good. They were a fun archetype. They just never really got any more support, really. And then Order of Chaos again. And I don't count that other ninja support we got kind of recently when it gave us the invocation reprint and all that. That wasn't very good, like, ninja support. So, not a fan of that. We have weights and Zen measures, and... Aw, oh, well, almost dropped it. Oh, got it. <laughs> there you go. And interplanetary purple thorny dragon. That one's just fun to say, so you gotta go with that. But yeah, looks like that's all of that one's there. No, I couldn't remember if that was one of the ones that possibly had sleeves or anything or what. Now we have our other tin. 
Hopefully we have a little bit better luck. We got a couple of supers at least, so I guess they went like all rares and commons, but uh, you know, I'd be pretty happy if I got an ultimate rare, right? Or ghost rare. <laughs> so same promo pack, I'm just gonna keep these sealed. Same thing exactly, nothing's changed. And the packs are the same too, so let's get to it. There. Evil Tiles, I miss those. I want some new support for them too. What do we got? Ancient Dragon, really cool looking artwork. Wish it was a little bit better in terms of usability. Next one. Come on, give me an ultimate rare. That's, that's what I'm hoping for, that's the goal. Doom Donuts, okay, That's the that was the other goal. We have Final Insection. Oh, nothing else on that. Give me that Doom Donuts Ultimate Rear. Now that would be a misprint I would love to have. All right, Rescue Rabbit. That's what I want from this. Have Tyrant Throws. Ah, oh, come on. Unfortunate. Looks like Order of Chaos is gonna have to save us. Can we get something on this? Again, when you're not guaranteed hollows, older tins can be tough, very tough. Hello, Koala, I always thought that was kinda interesting. Pretty high attack. Have uh, Insector Hopper, nothing on that. Okay, we're going down to that last pack look. What can we end with? Can we at least end with a hollow? I guess I can say that, right? Let's see, heart of the cards, help me out here. Give me something. We have Weights and Sin Measures and XC Reborn. Okay, I feel a little bit better. We actually ended with a Seeker Rare. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> that was actually a pretty decent one back then. I remember when it was kind of pricey. It's been reprinted, I think, a few times now. But you know what? I'll, I'll take my Seeker Rare. I, it's better than just all rares. We almost <laughs> we almost went with that. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, yeah, again, you're seeing basically from older tins. It is not just hollow after hollow, unfortunately. It can happen. But it's not always that way, of course. It just depends on that art of the card's look. I still think it's a good tin if you can find it or something. It has some pretty cool stuff in it. Of course, older tins are always fun to open up. So always recommend if it doesn't like cost an arm and a leg. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed seeing this and you want to see more older uh, tin openings and boxes and cards and stuff, packs. Uh, let me know which ones, of course, down in those comments. Again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.